Hi, this is Sancista Brujo Luis, and I have a little secret. I have a really bad habit, a really filthy addiction. And that filthy addiction, filthy habit is to fragrances. I have like over 200 bottles of fragrances and perfumes in my, in my closet. So anyways, I was at the pharmacy today and they had this after Christmas sale, 75% off. And so I saw this, right? Stetson, right? Supposedly $45. I doubt that very much. Um, I don't ever remember smelling Stetson, so I went to check how much it was. $10. I said, $10? You know what? I'll take two boxes, all right? I don't know what this stuff smells like, so I probably wasted $20 on something that I probably won't even like, but that's how bad my addiction is. I, I just love perfumes and fragrances. This is an Eau de Cologne and an aftershave. So I'm going to open this up and uh, see what this stuff smells like. It's supposed to smell like a cow. So I don't remember ever smelling Stetson in my whole life. I think this came out, well, not this one, but this perfume or this fragrance, this Eau de Cologne, came out in 1981. It is supposed to be the scent of the West and cowboys. Never smelled a cowboy in my whole life. So let's open this bad boy up and uh, give it a smell. So I guess this is supposed to be an Eau de Cologne and an aftershave. Look at the, look at the cool bottle. Got this uh, nice design. This is the Eau de Cologne. And I guess this is the aftershave. Can you see that? I, I don't even know if I'm recording. All right. I don't even know what the design of the bottle is. So let me check it out. This is what? 3.4 ounces, 100 millimeters. Okay, so I'm just going to smell what $10 smells like, right? See what it smells like. I don't remember this at all, so I'm just gonna, this is gonna be like a completely blind buy. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I remember this. I remember my dad, I think, wore this. Oh, it's strong. It's a Chypre, Chypre family of cologne or fragrance, meaning it's uh, bitter, citrusy. It smells like there's musk. It smells. It smells bad. It's not. It's not bad. It kind of smells like Aramis, which is from 1964, and I love Aramis. So this is definitely a cheaper. I don't think young modern noses would like this. I actually like this Eau de Cologne. Um, when were I, where would I wear this? I mean, this is really musky, so this would be good for the cold weather. I wouldn't really wear this out. Maybe when I'm alone, walking my dogs in the morning, you know, just, you know, walk the dogs, you know, put some cologne on, you know, just before I take a shower, take the dogs out for a walk. I don't know what cowboys smell like. I can't picture a cowboy smelling like this. Maybe, maybe. It's got that leather. It, it's a sheep ray. So it's got this citrus, oak moss, bitter, there's some lavender in there. I don't know if there's leather in here somewhere. Kind of smells like Aramis. It is very 1970s. You're going to remember this. If, if you've never smelled Stetson, you're going to remember this. So this is uh, the Eau de Cologne. Let me try, I don't know, the aftershave, I guess. So let me try the uh, aftershave. I've just, it's a really bad habit. Let me see what this smells like. Oof. Strong opening. Shape. It smells exactly like the Eau de Cologne. It just reminds me of my dad. It reminds me of, of the 1970s, the disco era. You know, men who are now my age, I can't see, you know, in those days, like people who were like, they were cool. They were 30, 40 with the, the peace sign, uh, you know, belt and their brown leather jacket and their butterfly collar shirt. And, um, you know, they like the MJ, you know what I'm saying? It was the seventies, poquito el polvito, whatever they did in the seventies. 
I like it. I don't know when I would wear this. Probably in the morning, probably at night, you know, to go to sleep. This is more of a winter spicy cologne. I can't see you wearing this in the summer or in the heat because it's gonna it's too animalic. And so it's gonna smell like an animal literally pissed on you. Do I like it? Well, I guess for $10, actually $20, you really can't go wrong. So I'm, I'm paying $5 a bottle. This is a Chypre. Um, very citrusy. Chypre is very citrusy and, and musky and soury and oak moss with florals. I can't picture a cowboy smelling like this. I've never smelled a cowboy. I picture the men of the 70s, you know, the guys in the corner playing dominoes and, and dancing disco and whatever, they, you know, the brown jacket and all that. So I actually like it. I don't think I'd wear it in public, but this is something I would probably use just for myself as, you know, something that I'm going to walk the dogs in the morning. This is something that definitely you can only use in the winter cold months. I cannot in my mind see anyone wearing this in the dead heat of the summer because there's too much musk. So it's too animalic and it's going to smell like an animal literally urinated on you. I don't know if that's what cowboys want to smell like or if that's what they want to go for, but it's not bad. $5. Ten dollars, you know. So I got a whole bunch of uh, Stetson. Francisco Luis.